What's going on everybody? It's Childish, we're back out of the game, coming at you with another Summoner's War video. In today's video, we're gonna be giving you guys some content that probably should have been dropped about two weeks ago when the update came out here. So in today's video, we're gonna showcase my first of many dungeon B12 teams. We'll have some more B12 teams, I think down the week. Um, but I gotta go ahead and share the story because I think some of you guys are gonna be relate to it. And for some of the up and coming players uh, that have been struggling to build their B12 teams, I hope that you can take my experience and uh, use it to go ahead and uh, push you through and uh, make some adjustments as you as you see fit here. So, okay, B12 Necropolis Dungeon. That's going to be the first one we're starting out today. And why is that? Because I, like a lot of you guys out there, uh, you know, once this update dropped, you probably uh, were overwhelmed at the uh, sheer amount of quality that you're going to be needing when it comes to the units, the runes, so on and so forth here. So naturally, um, I did what everybody else did. I looked at every single YouTuber. I talked to everybody in the community and I was like, this is what you got to build. You got to build this beneficial blocker. You got to build this attack bar reduction speed breaking unit. You got to build all this stuff. And I realized to myself, well, I just made a really big change in my account, focusing all my primary, uh, you know, strong runes out there for uh, PVP, Guild War defense and Siege defense as well. So what do I do? Like most of you guys did, um, I try to build too many things and I realized that the consistency of all of my dungeons uh, were not where it needs to be because the rune quality um, and maybe the skill ups were not, were, uh, were not maxed out or were not where they needed to be. So um, the reason why I wanted to share this video for you guys is that even though I know that you probably already have a Steel 4 Fortress team and probably have a Punisher script team. Um, for some of you guys that are still struggling to make your B12 teams, B12 for Necropolis is the only dungeon out of the five um, that literally you can probably use what you already had ruined up for B10 in order to take it out here. So my team is nothing, uh, nothing crazy that you've seen before. I've had a lot of variations to it, but to me, um, I went ahead and uh, with this build right here because I feel like this is uh, uh, this is a safer way to go. Uh, this is a safer way to go here, and it's basically getting me about a, a minute run teams here. So uh, for those that don't remember my previous team uh, that I ran for B10, I ran Sue, Julie, and then I ran the two water twins as well as Diva, the light twin. So you guys are probably like, wait, wait a minute, Childish, why don't you go ahead and run the Diva twin? Why don't you go ahead and run four twins with Roke? Why don't you go ahead and run four twins with Tran uh, you know, uh, Fran? You know, why don't you go ahead and do that here? Why don't you just forget the Fran and bring it all in? Well, uh, again, when it comes to, you know, getting those roots, I, I do value... Uh, you know, trying to, you know, be as fast as possible, but, you know, getting back to where we, the roots that we started with, um, I got to develop that level of consistency when it comes to farming. And so for me personally, um, this team for me has just been uh, really stellar here. Uh, I have it set up so so that the uh, Shayna was going go, is going to go ahead and light, uh, lead off after uh, after my friend, and then of course Roke is going to be just knocking out these units one by one, bringing in the team us, bringing in my twins, and uh, just getting the job done here. So let's see if let's see if she does it. Oh, sure. I guess she already wasted her uh, she already wasted her AOE attack here on that second thing. But generally speaking, my AOE attack will uh, be right uh, for that stage one and stage three. Uh, that will clear it out and we basically do enough damage on the uh, second stage uh, so that when that third stage comes out We're gonna go ahead and have that uh, We're gonna go ahead and have that skill three available there by Shanna But as you guys can see right there again uh, Nothing, you know out of this world, you know nothing to surprise you But uh, it's just a super reliable team um, to get the job done here uh, again uh, I do believe that uh, with my diva, you know due to the fact that it is running uh, I am running a very, very nice rune build on D.Va, and it is light, so I'll be able to do a little bit of damage here. I personally uh, just like the fact of of running a, a Fran over the D.Va because I already got my um, AOE defense pick with Sheena, and uh, she's going to be bringing an attack buff uh, leader skill. Um, and in addition to that, uh, again, it's just like a little bit, little bit more of a safer setup here uh, for me to use. And so uh, the reason why I wanted to share this with you guys today is that uh, if you guys are, you know, struggling. Uh, to, to build this team or go with this team or, you know, build something for Necropolis B12. I hope that if you were already, you know, basically set in, in, set in place with uh, your twins uh, from previous B10 dungeons that you use, uh, hopefully you didn't have to make any and all changes here. And uh, if you wanted to go ahead and run a safer approach here, obviously, if you're going to get a little bit more aggressive, try to reduce your speed, take out frame, bring another twin or maybe go double rogue um, uh, or something like that. Yes, it's going to be a little bit inconsistent, um, but, you know, again, I personally, right now, I'm, I'm definitely down for the safer run because uh, again, I, I I need a whole lot of I need a whole lot of wheel runes. I need a whole lot of rage runes. If you guys haven't seen my bail girl on stream, 
Yeah, it, it, it needs a little TLC right now. But uh, yeah, this is the team right now. We'll go ahead and showcase the runes at the very end. Um, and this is one that um, I feel like even though uh, for some of these units, you'll see that the runes are pretty decent. Uh, I think that I can still uh, get away with a little bit less rune quality and still be just as successful due to the fact uh, that I am running that frame here. So again, uh, nothing crazy. <laughs> well, like, look at the Rick James guys. Uh, nothing crazy here. Literally, uh, every single run that I do is anywhere between 101 and 105. Super consistent for this team here. Um, and again, if you don't have, uh, you know, if you don't have one of the twins, there, there's obviously a handful of units that you can go ahead and substitute. But for the majority of you guys that have been playing for quite some time, I uh, do have your twins all develop here. Again, you're just going to be using the same thing that you have in the past. You know, play around with a couple of rogues or play around with a couple of uh, like I said, uh, some additional twins, if you have like Diva and whatnot built, and uh, you should be able to do pretty well. You should be able to do pretty well. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the rune build here. Again, uh, we'll start out with my water twins. These didn't change here. Uh, these are running violent sets here. We got attack, grit damage, attack. Again, 100% critical rate. Uh, we're just trying to do massive amounts of damage with that Talia. Sabrina, also on a violent set here, attack, grit damage, attack. Super slow. Uh, well, not super slow, but you know, relatively slow. And uh, again, she's reliable because she's bringing in that uh, max crit rate and she is that bringing in the accuracy so we can get those defense uh, land, defense breaks landed in and go ahead and, uh, you know, enable Talia to do some work here. Uh, my Roke uh, is on a violent set as well. This one's a little bit more. I mean, it's not obviously the the perfect runes here, but uh, it's 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 done the job for me. Um, again, I'm just basically utilizing it to bring in for the team up and reduce the cooldowns. Uh, potentially on my Shayna, right? So I can have some more AOE defense break here and Rogue can follow through. Um, but overall, not too bad here. Again, I use this build uh, for a couple of other teams uh, for Steel Fortress. Uh, I think in Punisher Scripts as well, I use that Rogue here. So yeah, it's, it's doing a pretty good job here. Again, uh, my friend, nothing exciting here. Just using a Guild War, uh, you know, my, my typical PvP setup here. Uh, could the runes be better? Most definitely, but it's not required due to the fact that this, you just don't need to go all in on this units. I can definitely have some uh, weaker runes on that front here. And then Shane is probably the worst of out of them uh, because we're running the speed rune here. We're sacrificing a little bit of damage here to run speed, which I'm okay with that. I can use a little bit more accuracy, I think, on this one so I can uh, get some more reliable defense breaks here. But for right now, it's getting the job done. And like I said before, I'm super happy uh, with the minute runs. If I wanted to bring it down to, you know, 40 to 45 second, uh, you know, uh, runs. I think, I think I can do that. But, uh, the fact of the matter is, is that I was able to basically set up this team with literally zero changes to my monster box here. And I think that's something very, very important to point out because again, when we have new content, right, when we have new content, we're literally building all these units, we're literally rerunning everything. And we're trying to make certain units work with other teams, trying to speed tune everything and make everything work. So if I'm able to build a team without literally making no changes at all, uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to do it. Even if it slows down my runs, uh, just a little bit here. And I know that's something that a lot of people may not agree with here, but uh, for me personally, due to the fact that a lot of you guys have been watching my content and know that my uh, rune depth is not as higher, as not as high as it could be, given the fact of how long I played, uh, I'm just trying to do what I can uh, so that I can have a reliable team and then I can move on to a different, uh, different dungeon here. So, so that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Once again, I want to apologize for taking so long to bring out this video. I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to me as you probably built a ton of units like myself and just basically started spreading your roots too thin and not basically focus on one project and then one project and then so on and so forth here. So yeah, um, this is gonna be it for that video. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. And if you are new to the channel and you enjoy what you see, stop what you're doing, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you guys all in the next one. Take care.